Good morning and welcome. This is Pastor Lucy Painter with your daily insights. And today we continue with our topic, Prayer Closet, Day 4. Since Monday, we have been talking about what can hinder our breakthrough in the prayer closet. And in the prayer closet, it involves you and God. It's personal. It's just you and Him. And He is a holy God. And so we have been addressing one of the things that can hinder our breakthrough, our intimate relationship with God, and that is unconfessed sin. And we have talked about the cause of unconfessed sin. We have talked about the condition of unconfessed sin. And today I want us to talk about the consequences of unconfessed sin. We are learning from David because the Bible says that David was a man. God said that he had a heart after his own heart. He's a man who had a relationship that was very intimate with God. From the Psalms that he wrote, he's a man who could speak to God very intimately and shared emotionally with God. If he was angry, he would tell God, as it is, I am feeling angry. If he was down, he never hid it from God. He was open with God. And sometimes he would share what was happening in his prayer closet. And from our text, this is one of those incidences. He's coming out in the open and sharing with us what was happening in the prayer closet. In Psalm 66, verse 16 to 20, that is what we have been learning It says, come and hear all who fear God and worship him with all inspired reverence and obedience. I will tell what he has done for me. I cried aloud to him. He was highly praised with my tongue. If I regard sin and baseness within my heart, that is, if I know it is there and do nothing about it, The Lord will not hear me. But certainly, God has heard me. He has given heed to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not turned away my prayer, nor his loving kindness from me. So if you missed the first part of this section, if you missed the cause of the unconfessed sin, and the condition of the unconfessed sin, I urge you to check out our early podcast, Prayer Closet Day 1, 2, and 3, and you are going to catch up. So today we are going to talk about the consequences of the unconfessed sin. So David brings it now to a tragic conclusion. He has no doubt. He is speaking from experience. And he has shown us the cause. He has shown us the condition. And now he shows us the consequences. And it is displayed by how the unconfessed sin did in his life. He's not saying this because he has to say it. He is saying it because he has gone through it. And he says, number one, God is unmoved. What a tragedy. And he informs us that there that is where there that is where there is unconfessed sin. There is a God who is unmoved. Is it that God is unjust, unfair, and unconcerned? No. However, where there is sin, there is the contempt of God. Where there is sin, There is the condemnation of God, not for the sinner, but for the sin. And as a result, God is unmoved. There you are. And I wanted to talk about this because we are in the month of January and many believers, there we are in our prayer closet, fasting and praying. And we said yesterday, one of the conditions of this unconfessed sin, it is it, it, it involves a single person and it involves a secret place. 
Uh, you can do all you do to cover it up out in the public, but it happens within the heart and God searches the heart. So God is unmoved because he's a holy God and there is condemnation. It is not for the sinner, but it's for the sin because he is holy. That is one of the consequences of unconfessed sin. So you do all you do in the prayer closet. You do all the sacrifices. You want to you wanna agree with sin. You want to accept the sin. You don't want to do anything about it. Uh, you want to cry tears. You want to roll down on the ground and do all the gymnastics that you want to do. But if you keep harboring and confess the sin, this is a consequence. God is unmoved because where there is sin there is the contempt of God where there is sin there is the condemnation of God and not for the sinner but for the sin God is unmoved and then David says as if that was not enough David explained another consequences. Not only is God unmoved, but prayer is unheard. Imagine that. You know, here means to give attention to or to consider. However, the result of unconfessed sin is that our prayer is unattended to and unheard. Huh? You imagine spending hours in the prayer closet. And you know, I I like emphasizing and telling people, spend more time in prayer. So imagine spending that more time. You've been praying for 10 minutes. You've added five more minutes. Imagine adding even that more, five more minutes in a prayer closet. And yet your prayer is unattended to and unheard. And Solomon re-emphasized David's words in Proverbs 15, 29, when he said this, the 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 far he is far from the wicked but he hears the prayer of the righteous he is far from the wicked but he hears the prayer of the righteous in proverbs 28 verse 9 he said he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law even his prayer shall be an abomination I mean, today you're going to hear me sounding a little bit harsh, but I want to talk about this plain and clear because we need to deal with the unconfessed sin. It is going to be so bad if we spend days praying and fasting, if we spend hours in the prayer closet and the result will be that God is unmoved and our prayer is unheard just because we have agreed with sin and accepted sin that is only known to us, that was only committed by us, and we have refused to confess it. So, possibly this morning you're wondering why your prayer life is stagnant and stale. And they are spending time in that prayer closet. And it may be, I'm not here to judge, it may be that there is an iniquity and unconfessed sin in your closet. What a price to pay where God is unmoved and prayer is unheard. That is the consequence of unconfessed sin. That is the consequence of unconfessed sin. I want to stop there today and we'll continue tomorrow and we're going to have a moment tomorrow of dealing with the unconfessed sin. This is Pastor Lucy Painter with Prayer Closet, Day 4. Shalom. Shalom.